Good morning YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on how to install MCP with Forge. So let's get started. In order to get started you will need to download a few files. All, all the download links you can find in my description below, below this video. You will need Fernflower in order to be able to decompile the Forge. You will of course need Forge, Mod Loader, a copy, fresh copy of the Minecraft server, in addition to MCP of course. In addition to all of this, you will need a fresh install of Minecraft on your computer. And this means that if you have modified your Minecraft in any way, you will need to take a backup of that, remove it and just download the fresh install of Minecraft. You can do that simply by deleting your old Minecraft folder and running the launcher. In any case, when you have a fresh install of Minecraft, please continue. Just open your computer and in the field here type percent at data percent, press enter and you will be taken to the directory where your .minecraft folder is located. So open the folder and from this folder we will need two things. We need the bin and the resource folder. So just copy those over here. We will need them later. <coughs> so um, then open the directory where you want to install your MCP. I have opened mine here on the other side. So I will just copy over MCP and extract it. So now you will need to open your jars folder and take the bin resources and Minecraft server file, transfer them over there. Open the bin folder, right click on the Minecraft jar file, choose open with and your binvar or zip archiver. So uh, then you need to find the folder meta ins, delete the folder. This is required or else you will get a black screen when you try to start Minecraft. Open the modloader zip file and transfer all the files from modloader directly into the minecraft.jar. Close the files and go back to the main folder of MCP. Now you will need to install Minecraft Forge to MCP. Simply copy the folder over and extract it right as it is. So, here it is. Um, <coughs> you need one more thing in order for Minecraft Forge to work. And that is to install Fernflower. So go into runtime, bin, copy the Fernflower file over and extract it. There, you are now all done and all set to use MCP. Now let's start it. In order to start it with Forge, you will need to open the Forge folder and press the install. Now it will pop up a lot of text as it progresses through, so I will fast forward past this point. Okay, so there it's done. If you encounter any errors, um, there will be displayed some kind of error message or a whole wall of text of error mes messages. In that case you have to figure out how to solve the error and then you can run the update md5 file which can be found in the mcp main directory. And most likely when you encounter errors it's probably due to you not having a clean install of minecraft or using modified jar files or trying to use modloader mp uh, modloader mp is no longer supported by minecraft forge as of version 3.0 
Anyways, once the setup has finished, you can press any key to continue. And the great thing with NCP is that it has it has its own directory for Eclipse here. So when you start Eclipse, uh, you can just set your uh, working directory to um, your workspace directory to your new MCP folder, uh, MCP folder, and then choose Eclipse. So it will be your MCP folder slash Eclipse. Press OK. And what this does is that when you now launch Eclipse, the client and the server and everything will already be here in Eclipse, ready for you to work with. So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or other things, please leave a message below or send me a private message on the Minecraft forums or on YouTube. Have a great day, folks.